EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchetro with your outlook for August 5th, 2020. This is a look at last evening when uh, Isaias was moving away into New England. And uh, we actually had a sunset last night, which I kind of hinted at that we would have as we got uh, this system out of here fairly quickly. This is one of those few systems that we had. Uh, it, it broke it down in the video with timing and synoptics, and it pretty much behaved exactly how we thought it would. Uh, so we did, uh, and some of you have recognized that, and I got a lot of an outpouring of support on my Twitter account uh, yesterday for the the accuracy of the forecast and the timing, uh, especially that three-hour window. As if you saw yesterday's video, I was giving down a breakdown of uh, kind of like a hell on earth, three hours of, of heavy rain and wind where everything was, where the proverbial crap was going to hit the fan. And that was exactly what happened at any given location. It wasn't really too much longer than that. We did have rain before that, even some heavy rain, but it really was a three-hour period that you really had some really, really wicked weather uh, come in at uh, any given location from south and north, and then that ended pretty quickly. Uh, actually, even quicker than we thought it would. It was uh, actually by another hour or two, so it was ending kind of early, and uh, we had that timing pretty well nailed down for, for that and also the, uh, the impacts of that. Now, we did have some areas that had... A lot more. We had uh, two and a half to four inches over a very wide area over the middle here, and some of you got five, six, seven inches of rain. So locally higher does work out in tropical systems. I was a little surprised that it went that high though with the forward speed of this system. I didn't think it was going to be quite that high because it was moving too fast. But so that was a little bit of a surprise. Thank goodness it was not moving any slower. We would have had some serious problems, even more so than what we already had. And I know you've seen plenty of the pictures of the damage uh, from winds, from tornadoes. Uh, from extreme flooding. Can you imagine this thing was slower? And this thing was hauling. It was moving off to the northeast at one point at 40 miles per hour. Uh, and as it was about to exit here, uh, heading into New England. And uh, if it was going uh, like normal tropical systems do, like t crawling 10, 12 miles per hour, can you imagine the amount of flooding we would have had? would have been insane. So anyway, that's, uh, that's behind us now. We finally had a chance to dry out. We had a nice end to the day yesterday for most areas the sun came out and uh, we had a nice uh, sunset last evening so today we are going to have mostly sunny skies in the wake of that and temperatures are going to be seasonable we're going to have a trough that's uh, settling in it was the same trough that was guiding uh isaias further to the north and east and accelerated it rapidly although with that jet streak right ahead of that trough it is now coming in and uh, today's going to be kind of near average for high temperatures and mostly sunny skies lower humidity than yesterday of course and uh, then we have a little frontal boundary off to the north here. It's going to be a reinforcing boundary. It's going to go through overnight. And it doesn't really affect your Thursday. It just makes it partly cloudy. That boundary is going to shift off to the south and stay to the south here, I think, on Thursday. Now, uh, global models have this completely south here with some showers along that because there's a little short wave that's going to form along that boundary. Uh, first of two short waves are going to form along that boundary and bring some showers to those regions. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets a little bit further north like the NAM is suggesting. And I don't have that up here to show you right now. I, I, I had it, and I don't know what I did with it. But uh, the, the NAM does indicate that it will get it at least into the southern half of our regions a little higher than this. So we'll continue to monitor that for Thursday. It could be uh, some isolated to widely scattered showers kind of late in the day here on Thursday. It is a possibility. And I think you have a better chance for that on Friday as this uh, boundary tries to come back northward. And you have, and that's going to be Thursday night. Thursday night, I think you're going to have some showers for certain. And then that's going to go into Friday with uh, very big cloudy skies and scattered showers and perhaps thunderstorms. It's not going to be raining this entire time, however, on Friday. So I do think you're going to see uh, cooler temperatures through the end of the week, through Friday, and then once uh, actually through Saturday, because this boundary is going to be slow to move out. Uh, it's going to try to lift off to the north here on Sunday, or excuse me, on Saturday. Uh, but there still could be a stray shower or storm here in the, in the uh, vicinity here on, on Saturday. Otherwise, partly cloudy here on Saturday. And then once that system moves away, that weak system off to our south. We will be mostly sunny here on Sunday. Winds are going to turn to the southwest, and we're going to have temperatures warming once we get to the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday time frame ahead of the next cold front boundary, which comes in on Tuesday. So for that time period, we're having temperatures that are going to be above average again, and we're going to have above average or above normal humidity as well. So higher humidity uh, as we get to Sunday through Tuesday. I don't think you're. I think you're dry here on Sunday with mostly sunny skies. Then we get to uh, Monday, there's a cold front that's well back here, but there's going to be a prefrontal trough moving out ahead of it. Could be some scattered late day storms with that, especially in our interior locations here on Monday. And then once we get into Tuesday, we have a more a better chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms with this cold front actually moving through. 
uh, and then behind that we have slightly cooler air coming behind that. So we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday a little warmer until that uh, front moves through on Tuesday. Then we start to back down again as we get toward the end of the week. I'm um, EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is Outlook for August 5th, 2020. Have a great Wednesday.